This video discusses your mathematical chances of winning the Euro Millions Lottery. For those that don't know, Euro Millions is a transnational European lottery game that is won by matching five main numbers selected from a pool of 1 to 50 and two bonus lucky numbers from a pool of 1 to 12. According to their website, the odds of winning are shown on your screen. This video will specifically show you how to find the odds for this combination, 5 plus 2, 5 plus 1, and 4 plus 2. So let's get started. What are the odds of winning 5 main numbers and 2 of those lucky numbers? Well, to find the probability, we need to find the total number of combinations for picking 5 from the 50 and 2 from the 12. And to do that, we have to use a special formula, and that's shown on your screen known as the combinations formula. The combinations formula consists of the letter N and the letter R. N represents the total number of balls, and R represents the amount that you select. So from our first pool of numbers, we have an N value of 50 and an R value of 5. And rather than substituting these numbers into the formula, there is a function on your calculator that can quickly do this. And that function is found by clicking Shift and this button. So type in 50, Shift, the division button, which shows you a C, 5. We end up with 2,118,760. So the chances of picking five correct numbers from a pool of 50 is 1 and this number. Now, what about the lucky numbers? In that pool, there is 1 through 12. So using the same formula, but this time our n value will be 12 and r will be 2. We type in 12, choose 2, and that's 66. So there are 66 ways you can select two numbers from 12. So what do we do with these two probabilities? 1 and 66 and the previous number that we found. To combine these probabilities, we use the fundamental counting principle, which tells us that the number of ways in which a series of successive things can occur is found by multiplying the number of ways in which each thing can occur. If this one occurs in 66 ways, we will multiply this by our previous calculation. It's not on our screen, so let's retype it. 50 choose 5 and we get 139,838,160, which is exactly what was reported on their website. Now, what about if you get the five main numbers right, but only one lucky number? In that situation, we'll continue to use this, and I'll write it on the screen so that we don't forget. There it is. And to mathematically represent this, we'll write down the probability of getting five main and one lucky is equal to, the total number of combinations will be the bottom part of the fraction, and now we need to find the number of combinations that represents 5 plus 1. So here's what we're going to do. Let's pretend that on your ticket, the five numbers you chose, all five were right. That's represented as 5 choose 5. Just like before, the n value is 5, and the r value is 5. Out of the 12, two were selected. So we'll represent that as 2. And from those two that you selected, only one was correct. 2 choose 1. It doesn't stop there. After selecting 2 from the 12, 10 are left. And of those 10, you happen to choose one of those, unfortunately. Otherwise, you would have gotten 5 plus 2. We represent that as 10 choose 1. Once again, according to the fundamental counting principle, which is stated right here, the number of ways in which a series of successive things can occur is found by multiplying the number of ways. So we multiply 5 choose 5 times 2 choose 1 times 10 choose 1, and that represents the top number of our probability. Using our calculator, 5 choose 5 times 2 choose 1 times 10 choose 1. That's 20. So 20 divided by 139 million decimal eight. Let's see if that matches what the website reports. 20 divided by the number we found earlier, which was 139 
1.838160, and we get 1 in 6,991,908, which is exactly what was reported on their website. Now let's figure out the probability of getting 4 plus 2. Pretend that on your ticket you have five numbers chosen, and of those five numbers, you chose four that were correct. And since we have 50 numbers in this pool, you're now left with 45. And from those 45, you happen to choose one, unfortunately. So 45, choose one. Notice that I didn't show 45, choose zero in this calculation, because 45, choose zero is equal to one. I sort of skipped that, but it's there. You can even include it as 45 choose 0 in this previous calculation. Anyway, let's move forward. So we're going to multiply this by 45 choose 1, and we'll multiply that by the two numbers that you chose, both of which were correct, of those lucky numbers, and of the 10 that weren't chosen, you luckily chose none of those. So 10 choose 0. 10 choose 0 is equal to 1. Just keep that in mind. So 5 choose 4 times 45 choose 1 times 2 choose 2 it's equal to 1 times 1 we can just write down 1 we have 225 and now we divide this by the total number of combinations which is once again 139 million 838160 we end up with 15 over this number which is the same as 1.609 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Now they show 1 in 621503. That's an estimate. So if I take 1 divided by 621503, that's identical to what I got before. And there you have it. That is how to calculate your chances of winning the Euro Millions Lottery.